Okay, here's what I've gotten done on the 4x8 folding trailer so far. I've gotten both parts taken apart. Here is the back part, as you can obviously see, because it has the tail lights on it. That's the back part of the folding frame. It does not look like it sustained any damage. It's just got a little bit of cosmetic rust on it, so there isn't really much needs to be done with it other than uh, a little bit of uh, grinding the rust off and putting a new paint job on it. But where the stress has been is on this front part of the folding. I'm going to call this the deck frame because the main frame holds the suspension leaf and everything. You might be able to see right here if I can get the angle right. This one is kind of bent here. Down there, same thing. That's stress bent. That's actually the very front part of the what I call the main frame. They call it the spring holder, but that's where all the suspension is. But it seems like it's the front part of the trailer that took the stress and bent and twisted a little more than anything else. And uh, all the rest of the pieces on this, same thing. Just sand them off a little bit, put a coat of paint on. Otherwise, it looks pretty good. So I'll show you the stress on the main frame here. And there's Sam backing his motorcycle in. This is the main frame, and as you can see, this one's really bad. It's bent and twisted, and then that one's bent, not quite twisted as much, but they're both in pretty sorry shape. And they carry the weight of the trailer, and they actually, is, they're where this leaf springs, these two leaf springs where they attach. And as you can see, I've already cleaned grease and put plastic around the ends of the axle so that it'll stay in good shape not corrode or anything like that. I pulled both hubs off along with the wheels and here's the hubs and they're empty right now because I took the inside and outside bearings out of them. These are the um, inside bearings not in too good a shape really as you can see these bearings are really nice and shiny maybe you can see I don't know if the camera shows it yeah I think it does these are really nice and shiny but the inside bearings are not looking quite as good these are the cup seals to them. I also, for some reason, I keep losing one of my dust caps, so I went and got two more dust caps at uh, Tractor Supply. So I'm going to work on them. I've ordered another be complete bearing set. So these two right here, since they're interchangeable with these here, uh, and I'll just keep the cups, I'll have uh, two spares for backup. But I'm ordering a whole new set of four to go in here. So I cleaned the hubs out, and the races inside for the bearings look in pretty good shape. Uh, I don't know if you can see it with the camera or not, but there's no scarring or pitting or anything like that. As a matter of fact, I used this to press them out. The, the bearings on the um, inner part are kind of press fit in, so I just used these and my vise over on my workbench. Well, you can see now over my workbench right now, i got something else in the vise. I've got a, a drill in the vise with the wire brush. But yeah, and then the rest of the miscellaneous pieces, here's the wiring harness. Uh, that's a little piece I used to kind of scab in there while the trailer was not operating really good. These are the uh, pivot hinges when the back flips up to where you can stand the trailer up and store it. Those are the little hinge parts on the on either side of the trailer between the two pieces, the, the front frame and the back deck frame. And then I also ordered another set of marker lights too. So I have uh, red lights in the rear and yellow lights up front. I don't think it's ever... I've had the lights actually work on the trailer, although I didn't get stopped, it'd still be a good idea. If I'm going to put money into the trailer and get it all fixed up, it would be a good idea to uh, have the correct marker lights. So, yeah, the bearing kit's on the way, and the replacement, these two replacement pieces, I'm having a shop in North Carolina fabricate these for me out of 1 8 inch galvanized stock. So they're just going to basically make them into the shape that I want and the length I want. They're 32 inches, and then it's up to me to drill the holes. So... Um, that's not going to be that big of a deal. In fact, you can see on these they have slotted holes. I don't even really need the slotted holes. I could just drill regular rounded holes for the way the trailer comes together. For some reason they made it with slotted holes, maybe just to put together a little bit easier. But yeah, and I uh, pretty much so far all of the bolts on the trailer holding it together have all come apart really, really easy. They all tend to be galvanized uh, pieces. You can see these right here, they've got quite a bit of rust they're showing on them, but none of them were really difficult to break apart. So um, pretty much even on the outside, there are those two frames I showed you. I've broken apart those two, even though they're still connected together. They're loosened, uh, but they weren't difficult to break apart either. So so far, so good. I'm hoping that, uh, oh, and there's, uh, if you wanted to see, there's the lug nuts that hold, uh, they bolt into this part of the hub here to hold the tire on. And the tires, 
They're underneath there, both the tires, and I even up over in the overhead. I have a spare. I'll probably bring the spare along too. Let's see. Do I know where it is up there? Uh, I don't know. It's 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 somewhere up in the overhead. So anyway, that's the progress I have on the trailer so far. Just to kind of let you know, and uh, I'll see what else I get done. I'll try to get all the easy stuff done first, so that when I get to the meetup in September, um, basically just the stuff that I need you guys to work on, probably gusseting up. Um, those places to where they bend pretty easy and then reinforcing that sorry about the beeper That's the automatic garage door closer. I just I've got that set to go off every 15 minutes to check if the garage door needs to be closed And it's closing see that's what it's supposed to do. I put that in because uh, Every winter it seemed like everybody was leaving the garage door open and I got sick of it So I put a little device in there that checks and if it's not closed in 15 minutes It closes it automatically. So anyway, that's what I wanted to show you guys talk to you later. Bye